Section 5, Video 3, Resource Management Concepts. In this video, we learn resource management concepts and how they apply to a shared environment. In terms of resource allocation, ESXi hosts allocate each virtual machine a portion of the underlying hardware resources. And this is based on a number of factors. The total available resources for the ESXi host or the cluster number of virtual machines that are already powered on and their resource usage, overhead required to manage virtualization, and resource limits defined by the user, typically the configured size of memory and CPU. Let's look at some resource management concepts. The first one is shares. And as we know, a virtual environment is a shared environment where multiple VMs are sharing the same resources on the host or cluster. Shares allow us to prioritize a virtual machine's access to resources, especially during periods of contention. A higher shares value means a higher priority to shares. And shares are defined as 4 colon 2 colon 1, denoting high, normal, or low. This is just a denotion uh, to fully understand, and the default value of shares for each virtual machine is normal. For virtual machines that we identify to be critical, we can assign a higher shares value, which means that in, term, in the event of contention of resources, that critical VM will get the necessary shares of the resources. Reservation is another concept that we learn in resource management, and that allows us to reserve or guarantee a minimum amount of CPU or memory so that the virtual machine is able to continue functioning. Even if the resources on the host are overcommitted. In terms of memory, once a virtual machine has access its memory reservation, it is allowed to retain that amount of memory and it's not reclaimed, even if the virtual machine becomes idle. Once again, for critical VMs, that are critical, that are important to the enterprise, we can <clears throat> reserve a certain CPU and memory resource in order for that virtual machine to function. Limit is defined as an upper bound on the amount of CPU or memory that the host can allocate to the virtual machine. Typically, the virtual machine's memory and CPU allocation that we configure is implicitly limited by its configured size. However, setting a limit usually should be done if there's a valid case or valid use case. Otherwise, we can impact the applications and performance of the virtual machine. Admission control is a concept where once a virtual machine is powered on, the system checks the amount of CPU and memory resources that are available. If CPU and memory resources are available, the virtual machine is allowed to power it on, and this process is called admission control. Let's look at resource management in terms of CPU. Reservation, as we know, for the default value is zero. Every virtual machine is configured with zero reservation, and this can be changed accordingly. Limit is set to unlimited, so every virtual machine has a chance to use the fully configured values that are that it is configured with. Shares again, the default value is set to normal and this can be changed between low, normal and high. In terms of resource management for memory, we notice that reservation is the defaults to zero. So a virtual machine will have zero reservation unless we can change it to indicate a higher requirement or, or guaranteeing a certain resources for this VM. We see another checkbox, which is reserve all guest memory. This simply allows the reservation to move in accordance with the size of the VM memory. So in the in future, if we increase the size of the memory, the reservation will increase, increase accordingly. Limit is set to unlimited indicating that it can use the 
full capability of the configuration that it's configured on and shares is set to normal again uh, indicating that the virtual machine will get equal share of resources resource management in terms of virtual machine disk shares and these graphics are taken from a web client these screenshots are from the from a web client and allows us to make all these changes the shares value is set to normal again indicating that this virtual machine will have equal share of the storage in, in the virtual environment the limit IOPS the input output is set to unlimited if there's if you, if we configure a change here we can limit the the IOPS that is going back and forth to the VM and typically limiting its functionality and performance to summarize we looked at resource allocation and how ESXi host is able to allocate certain portion of its resources to the VM and we looked at resource management concepts including shares reservation and limits and admission control in the next video video 4 we will look at resource management best practices thank you for watching